1940, a monument was erected near the Coenga Pass, the lowest pass through the Santa Monica Mountains, which connects the San Fernando Valley to the Los Angeles Basin. This obelisk is named the Lancashire Monument, and it observes three things. James Boone Lancashire, the signing of the Coenga Treaty, and the Second Battle of Coenga Pass. The monument is located near the edge of the Briar Summit Open Space Preserve in the Hollywood Hills. James Boone Lancashire was one of the first real estate developers in the San Fernando Valley. But his father, Isaac Lancashire, was the patriarch of the family dynasty. Isaac Lancashire had many business interests, and he owned 60,000 acres of farmland in the San Fernando Valley, which he had purchased from P.O. Pico in 1869. The town of North Hollywood was originally called Lancashire, and Lancashire Boulevard still bears the family name. Isaac Lancashire's son-in-law was Isaac Van Nuys. Van Nuys owned 47,000 acres of farmland in the San Fernando Valley. Combined, the two owned 65% of the San Fernando Valley. Isaac Lancashire's son, James Boone Lancashire, a businessman like his father, donated 20 acres of land to the Boy Scouts of America in 1921. In 1940, the Boy Scouts built this obelisk in his honor on the donated land. The land was known as the Arthur Letts Boy Scout Camp, after Arthur Letts, who was vice president of the Boy Scouts of America. Arthur Letts had many business interests, which included the founding of the Broadway and Bullock's department store chains, the development of Westwood, Holmby Hills, and UCLA began in 1919 when Arthur Letts purchased 400 acres of land which became Holmby Hills. Arthur Letts Jr., his son, built a 22,000 square foot mansion in Holmby Hills in 1927 that sat on 5.3 acres of land. This property was eventually purchased by Hugh Hefner in 1971 for $1.1 million. The monument also commemorates the signing of the Treaty of Coenga at Campo de Coenga on January the 13th, 1847 which ended hostilities in Alta California, modern-day California, in the Mexican-American War. One year later, on February the 2nd, 1848, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo ended the Mexican-American War with the United States acquiring the Mexican Cession, which included California, Nevada, Utah, and parts of Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. This is Campo de Coenga as it appears today, much more embellished than its simple early beginnings. Its location is about a mile north of the monument. The third thing the Lancashire Monument commemorates is the Battle of Providencia in 1845. But let me set the stage for this encounter. In 1821, Mexico gained its independence from Spain after a struggle that lasted for a decade. Alta, California was a province of Mexico from 1821 until 1848, when Mexico lost the Mexican-American War and California became part of the United States. But during the time that Alta California was a Mexican province, many of the residents were unhappy with the government of Mexico, which always chose governors and legislators from Mexico 
to govern Alta California instead of allowing local Californians to govern the province. And many residents of Alta California felt that local residents were better equipped and had a better understanding of local issues than officials from Mexico. Pensions grew and erupted into armed conflict on two occasions. First, in 1831, in what is known as the First Battle of Cahuenga Pass, and again in 1845, in what is known as the Second Battle of Cahuenga Pass, or the Battle of Providencia. Casualties were light in both encounters, but cannonballs from the Battle of Providencia are still occasionally found during construction excavations in the area. In 1978, the Lancashire Monument was designated City of Los Angeles Historic Cultural Monument No. 181. The surrounding 20 acres upon which the obelisk stands were sold off years ago and have been developed into neighborhoods. But the narrow strip of land upon which the monument stands remains untouched to this day. Here we are at Campo de Cuenga. And right in the front, there's an El Camino Real bell. This is where the treaty was signed, the Treaty of Cuenga in 1847. So I'm at uh, Lancashire Boulevard and Coanga Boulevard. Actually, Coanga Boulevard turns into Ventura Boulevard at Lancashire Boulevard. If you go east, it's Coanga Boulevard. If you go west, it's um, Ventura Boulevard. But I'm gonna go down here to a street called Broadlawn that should take me up to the Lancashire Monument. Here we are, the Mulholland Scenic Overlook, also known as the Universal City Overlook. And that's the NBC Comcast Universal building in the center of the screen. To the right of it is the Sheraton Universal Hotel. And in the background, in the middle of the screen, you can see the Toluca Lake Golf Course. And there's a view of the San Fernando Valley. there on the center of the screen you can barely make out the Hollywood sign I'm a couple hundred feet from the Universal City Overlook and right up here on Torreson Drive is the famous Chemisphere House right here at the intersection of Torreson Place and Torreson Drive is the Errol Flynn Estate. The house is no longer there, but this used to be the estate of Errol Flynn. And this right here is the signage, Flynn Ranch Road, private. And that's Mulholland Drive right there. So 
So this is Nicholas Canyon Road and this street going to the right is at this intersection is Shandell Road and where they meet is just about the end of Nicholas Canyon Road right here. And this is the way you access the Lancashire Monument. And this staircase is pretty sketchy. But this ribbon of land is about 20 feet wide down here. And I was able to speak to a very nice gentleman named Charlie with the Boy Scouts of America, and he confirmed with me that the Boy Scouts of America still own this piece of land and that it's approximately one acre. If you add all this land together, it's about 25 feet wide down here. And of course, this is private property to the right and private property to the left. Now maybe this is what I read online because up here there's another staircase. And just to the right of that white fence is where the monument is. Something interesting about this property is that the 20 acres that were donated to the Boy Scouts uh, backed up to an 11 acre of parcel that was owned by Errol Flynn. He had a residence just a few hundred feet from here and the two properties backed up to each other. Regrettably, there's some handprints in paint on the memorial, but there are three panels on this memorial, this monument. And the monument appears to be, I would guess, almost 20 feet tall, maybe 18, 19 feet. That's what it seems like. But this panel here, facing north, commemorates James B. Lankersham. And this panel here, facing east, commemorates the treaty signed at Campo de Coenga. And the south facing panel the Battle of Providencia in 1845. Historical Monument number 181. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Lancashire Monument. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.